Welcome back to the channel and today we'll be looking at how to reset the Brivus central heating control panel. I can safely assume that if you're watching this, you've recently had a Brivus central heating unit installed or you've moved into a house that has one and you're wondering what on earth is going on. What are all these blue squares in the top left hand corner and why isn't the unit turning on? Well this is a very well known issue and luckily for you it doesn't happen too often, probably once a year. Luckily it's not difficult to fix so let me show you how. All you need to do is pull back on the edge of the front cover with either one or two fingers. Make sure that you're actually pulling on the cover and not the back of the unit itself. You do not want to be ripping this thing off the wall. There is a clip on the back cover and on both sides. So you'll want to pull the front cover to the left away from the unit and to the front at the same time. Don't worry, it's a very scary thing to do for the first time and you'll think you're going to be ripping the unit off the wall. But the cover will come off, so don't panic. Now that you've got the front cover off, you're almost done. You'll notice four pins that are attached to the front cover and you'll see four corresponding inputs where they need to go. Place the cover around the clip on the right hand side and make sure that the pins are lining up with the holes. Once everything looks good, just close the cover and make sure it clips back on. That's it. Take a look now and you should see that the unit has reset and everything is back to normal. All the blue lights have disappeared and everything is displaying as it should. And that's it. You just now need to hope that it doesn't happen to you for quite a while. But if it does, at least now you know how to reset it. Now before you go, I'll prepare you for another common problem that you'll see with this control panel. But luckily again, it doesn't happen too often. What will happen is you'll walk into the room to turn the unit on. And you'll notice that the temperature display is blank. And when you hit the on button, you just get no response. Luckily, this problem actually fixes itself. When it happens to me, which is usually once every six months to a year, I just put on the kettle, I make breakfast, do a couple of things around the house, maybe waiting five minutes or so, and then when I come back, the temperature will be showing again and the unit will turn on. Well, this brings us to the end of the video and I hope it helped you out. Please let me know in the comment section how you went. It's always great to get some feedback and let me know that I've been able to help someone. Please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to see more easy DIY projects, tips and tricks, how-to guides, and money-saving ideas, hit that subscribe button too. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.